Hello and welcome back. This is Motionology once again, and now we will move on with the nodes and operators within the Expresso tag in Cinema 4D. We're supposed to be now talking about the adapter list, which include some really great and powerful operators, which we can use to do some kind of data type conversions. So it's going to be a very good idea to talk first a little bit about data types and the differences between data types. So let's just go ahead and do that first. Let's add a constant. And the first data type that we will talk about is the real kind of data type, which we do have it here as the default option when we first added this constant. So the real data type is a number or a value which is not imaginary. So what is an imaginary number? So let me give you a little bit of a mathematical background on what is an imaginary number. So we do have this five square and of course it's going to equal 25. And it's obvious, it's very easy because five multiplied by five is going to equal 25. The square root of 25 is going to equal five. So it's just basically the other way around. But if we just try to find out the square root of minus 25, the answer will be unknown. We cannot find that because if we just try to multiply minus five by minus five is going to equal 25 because when you multiplied two negative numbers, the result will be a positive number. So what is the answer for this square root of minus 25? Well, genius mathematicians said that the square root of minus 25 or anything like it will be an imaginary number. It's not going to be a real number. So the result of this is going to be five multiplied by an imaginary unit and these mathematicians refer to that imaginary unit by the letter i so it's going to be five multiplied by i which is an imaginary unit so let me go back to espresso in cinema 4d and let's just demystify this a little bit more let's just add and um, from calculate let's just add a float function and of course we are getting ahead of ourselves because we will talk about these things later on in this series of tutorials. And now let's just try to find out the square root of 25. Let's add a result node, to see what that will equal. So let's connect the output to that result. So the square root of 25 is going to equal five. And that's, that's basically what we explained and talked about, but let's just add minus 25. So notice that it give us this weird kind of value in the result node, which means that this result uh, operator does not understand what is this supposed to mean or supposed to equal. So that was the real data types. Moving on, let's just talk about the other kind of data type, which is, you know, a bit popular. Uh, and that is the integer kind of data type. And the integer is somehow similar to the real or basically it's the exact same thing. But the only difference between the integer and the real is that the integer does not like decimal numbers it only likes whole numbers. So if we try to enter a whole number, let's say 25, and then try to put a point and then put a decimal number, let's just one, zero, 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 five, three, five, two, four. And that's a decimal number and just click outside. It's going to ignore that decimal number and only care about the whole number. So this is the difference between the integer and the real. The last data type that we will talk about in this video is the pool. The pool, approximately self-explanatory data type because it's only going to give us a kind of true or false value on or off. 
So that was it for this video. In the next video, we will talk a bit more about, you know, more of a complicated kind of data types. So let's just do that. See you then.